Hi all and welcome back to another video of Let's Play Morrowind. Um, today we've got to turn in this vintage brandy quest. Let me reorientate myself, it's been a few days since I've played this game. I, I built up a stack of uh, recordings to uh, sort of be put out in the future and um, I've just hit the limit and actually for the first day of this channel Today is going to be the first day that I think a video has been recorded on the day it's going to be released, A. And B, I think, um, I can't remember where I'm going. <laughs> this is, a uh, this is awful. It's south wall, so, down here? Down here. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's going to be the first day of recording on the day. And B, oh yeah, that's it. It's my first day of not uh, releasing exactly the same time for... Coming up to a month? We're not at a month yet on the channel. We're four days off. So, um, yeah, roughly been releasing at the same time every day for 28-ish days, 25 days. Which I'm really happy with. I mean, this is only going to be a couple of hours late. And that's because I didn't wake up in time this morning, so... Um... Space. Head on. All right, I'm listening. Hello, friend. And you want some vintage brandy? Yes, here it is. Yes, this is fine brandy. Habisi gives you a fair price, a thousand drakes. Wicked. Um, do you want to give me an advancement? The black cap. And then jobs. New shoes, Bregor. Um, Fort Pelagad's jail. Oh, jailbreak. F way to free new shoes. Mebstein's in Pelagad smuggles Dwemer items. Takes bribes from Mebstein. Fetch a mysterious Dwemer device from Mebstein's shop and take it to Shadback. Tell Shadback to let new shoes go, or you'll let everyone know Shadback takes bribes. Um, let's see if we can get a bit more info, if there is any. Um, doesn't seem to be. Are you going to... No. I've got some like other stolen goods here, so I was just wondering if it's something we could sell whilst we're here. I think I've done this before. Will you buy my vintage brandy? Yes, you will. I do half wish that they'd only show uh, what they would buy. Because I robbed all this stuff off that body as well, didn't I? 194, Jesus. Um... So we're not going to be able to move if we uh, do go into a dungeon or something like that. So it is worth trying to shift some stuff if we can. I don't think this guy's affiliated. No, he's only books as well. I mean, I have a few of those, so. Um, it's one of those where I would just take the 150 if it's going just over 154. Now it's been a hot minute since I played some more, and I'm um, quite looking forward to get back into it. I just, um, last week was my, and the reason I sort of built up some episodes ahead is because I know these, like, life gets in the way sometimes. You have to, you have to go and do various other things, and last week it was, um, my birthday week, so I gave myself some time to do nothing and, and just didn't get around to recording. So, there goes all my built up supplies of episodes but I'm hoping to get a few more built up because there's a potential that I'm going back to work relatively soon so I want some uh, I mean I think I've been saying that for about the last three weeks now but um, I want to make sure I've got some some stuff built up in the bank because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep a um, daily release um, schedule uh, I can't remember my way around. It's only been like a week since the last time I played. And we've spent a lot of time in Balmora. Yeah, um, we'll see though. I, I aim to try and keep my the daily schedule, but we'll just see. 
He's still wearing the armor that I sold him. God knows how long ago now. Uh, that's what I want to get rid of because I bet that's heavy. And these clothes. Uh, slow fall and amulet's just kind of fun. I don't want two arrows. It's not super useful. You have that book. Where does that put us? 238. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to get rid of some of these, these soul gems, but I do want to try and find the greatest uh, buyer that we can. Where does this 1200 one put us? Yeah, right on the cusp. Right on the cusp. So we want to be making a move to Pelagiad. Pelagiad. This is the one word I can't pronounce. I hate it. It is my enemy. Are we going the right way? Nope. I'll see you there. So that's the other thing that should be on this video. Should be the first time we're going to have a new title card. Should be. I um, I wasn't a big fan of the th thumbnail, not title card, sorry. I wasn't a big fan of the thumbnail that I did previously, but it's like, I, I sort of have the impression that when you when I was starting this that my big focus should just be getting stuff out there and just um, producing stuff so I wasn't too focused on on some of the more selly aspects of it and plus because I'm doing everything in-house myself I don't have the skills to do that but then um, I think my video that got released yesterday I'm super happy with the title uh, the thumbnail that I did on that well I was when I made it and now actually it's a, a week or so later and I look at it and I don't think it's the best of the best of the best but I think it's a good direction to be going in and it's one that's like got room for improvement but one that we can be um we can actually I just saw her and was wondering where her quest led us because I remember she gave me some information didn't she of like a better seller or something but yeah it's stuff that can be worked with and improved upon down the line Sorry, I'm just excited to be talking into a microphone again, so kind of walking the same path we've done a thousand times, but giving a few updates whilst we do it, I think. I think it's a fun way of uh, fun way of going about it. Plus, the other thing I've noticed, because I've been skipping out a lot of travel time, uh, but I don't stop recording on the side, um, it's basically meant that my recordings are getting to like 50 minutes for a, 30, a 25, 30 minute video. Uh, which is fine, you know, that's the way it's got to be, and I will continue doing it that way. But um, I, it makes me excited to be playing Oblivion or something with fast travel actually down the line because this would be avoided. And plus, like, the more I think about it, the more because for not having fast travel and starting this game made me really enjoy fast travel and the lack of it. Or, or the ones that were there were sort of uh, narrativized with vehicles and the silt striders, etc. So I thought that was like really cool, but actually, just on a practicality level, it is um, it isn't as good, in all honesty. So we are here. Let's have a look at our journal. By the gods in Palagia, since helping him, Ents, the shepherd, god of the fall. I should steal the Dwemer artifact from them, seeing Ents. Show it to what's called. Uh, where the hell is Mebsine Ents? Um, I didn't see an option to ask Sugarlips about that. One second. I knew it was going to be one of the local shops, but uh, oh, it was just a question of which one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dwemer Artifacts. I mean, if you are an honest merchant, do you want to buy some, some of my crap? Problem is, I'm building up a lot of crap which feels like essential crap. That I want to be carrying with me. I haven't picked up any cure disease potions which I remember was an issue last time but we'll do that um, so where do we think his Dwemer artifacts are if I was him Let's get this over with quickly. I'd be hiding them upstairs mm. 
It is nice that they just they don't uh, they don't bother coming upstairs at all. Uh, potions, but nothing really worthwhile. At this stage, we've got like quite a bit of money anyway. I hear footsteps. <laughs> I wonder if that's programmed in if the player comes up here. What's he on this? This is all that their booze of sorts, isn't it? The booze of sorts, right? What do we want to do here? We want a better lock pick, don't we? Oh, we got some master ones now. Don't worry me, I'm, a, I'm not equipping my uh, lock pick for any particular reason. Yeah, you go downstairs. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. I know, I know. But if you could kindly go downstairs, that would be helpful. The thing is here, he might be staying there because I'm in his location, but I'm gaining some sneak levels from doing this anyway. We're good at this, guys. We're real good at this. Professional thieves. Um, I wonder if it's because we're using like a NAF level lockpick or something. I hear footsteps again. It's not saying we're too low level or anything, so this should be fine. It just might take us a minute to get there. There we go. What were we doing upstairs, you ask? Well, nothing. Oh, that's what the footsteps were. <laughs> Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. <laughs> uh, the Elder Scrolls experience hasn't changed greatly over the years, has it? So now we need to go and find this jailer. Uh, Shadbrack Grat Burberg. I was about to say, I'm assuming that's an orc, but um, I don't know if that's making me have too great assumptions. Um, I mean, I wasn't wrong. Um, new shoes? Where did you get that Dwemer artifact? I bet you stole it from Mebstein, Thief. How did you know Mebstein had one? Because Mebstein pays me good money to keep it secret. Let sh new shoes go and I'll forget about it. Okay, you get get me this time. I'll let him go. But it's not over between us, Maribu. I'll remember you. Okay, cool. A successful bit of bribery, I think. Still feels less dirty than the Mage Guild. Still feels less dirty than them. Right. So... Cool. Let's go back. So as we come just into Balmora, the sun setting in the background, fresh off our quest to thieve, um, release a thief from a prison. I, I just wanted to talk actually because I've been thinking on the journey about the actual guilds themselves and the weird way that they are different from later Elder Scrolls games. Because like by now in later Elder Scrolls games, the guilds would have a thing. So like Fighter Skills from Oblivion would have Blackwood Company. Um, the uh, Mages Guild would be introducing the Necromancers. The Thieves Guild would be... I don't think that actually introduces an enemy. I can't quite remember. Or is that just pure thieving? I can't even remember. But anyway, it starts introducing like this main thread that holds it all together. But the thing I'm finding with this is actually um, we're not getting that as much anywhere near as much. Instead, we're just getting like you, you genuinely feel like a guild member. And I'm not even sure if we get like a grander narrative as, as you go higher up. But you genuinely just feel like, right, OK, you are of about this rank to do this job. So, you know, go out there and do your job. Um, I kind of like that. 
That's fun. It um it fits together in a sort of cohesive way. Let's turn this quest in anyway. Um, where are you? New shoes. New shoes is free. Habassi knew you could do this thing. Take these a thousand drakes, less than what it would cost without your help. Thank you. Advancement? And jobs. A master of security lives here in Balmora. Habassi only knows that he he is an Altma. Perhaps he can help secure the south wall. Um, buh, 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 buh. South wall. That's all he knows. Interesting. I mean, what's the quest called? Master of Security. I mean, I could go around asking everyone, trying to figure out who this Master of Security is. Let's ask this gentleman. He doesn't look like he'll know. Oh, he's one of these six health piece people, isn't he? Um, but I'll tell you where it does know, and we'll know straight away. The wiki. So, I have a name. I have a name of who we need to go to. Apparently there's only six Altma living in this town, which is kind of interesting. It's like her Serene or something. Apparently this is our last quest in uh, Balmora as well for the Thieves Guild. I want to just touch back into the Mage's Guild to remember what my limitations there, because I seem to remember we can't actually rank any further here um, until we like get our skills a bit better. Mages, Mages, Trader, Lucky Lockup, so it's going to be in this sort of compound area, isn't it? Clothier, Clothier. Mog Tongue. Hmm. Hmm. One second. East Bank, we say. Oh, there we go. Her syringe. Let's go. Master of Security. Is this it? I will eventually press the right button. It's a very um, modest house for a, a master in security. Do you want to turn around? I don't feel a bit weird talking to you back. I see you. Oh, Hello. oh no. <laughs> Hello. Barter? I mean, he has a lot of money. Do you have any interest in some soul gems? No. Okay. Let's stop bartering. Um, oh, we can actually level up some of these as well. I'm going to avoid training until we have to train. Um, South Wall. I must admit, I've been negligent towards the guild. I will certainly help you secure the South Wall. Tell Sugar Lips that I am at her service. Any jobs will lead for me? Specific place? We've read all this before, I'm sure. Um... Got a lot to talk about, but I don't think there's any particular I want to ask you. Cool. I think that's us done with the Thieves Guild here. Um, here's the south wall. So then we have to have a think about what we want to do next. Um, South Wall, 
Hisarind is the master of security and he will help us. This is good, Habasi thinks. I will not long before the Suring Hard Heart and the Kamana Tong make another move against us. You have been a, of good service, Black Cap. If there's any gold on your head for crimes, other others believe you did, Habasi will have it fixed. Cool. Any advancement for us? I'm an operative. Any jobs for us? No jobs as a... Angela the jeweler in Eldrune, or Bilg Helende in Sedrith Mora. You'll find him in Eldrune, likely at the rat in, in the pot. you find Bilg Helende in Dirty Muriel's Corner Club. It's quite a place. Oh, I thought, I wondered if I was going to be a, a high enough rank now. Okay, that's us done there. So, let's quickly dip into the Mages Guild. I believe that we already know this answer, and the answer is just, like, start using your destruction magic a bit more, dude. Um, which is fine, but I want to pop in anyway. I know, I know, I don't care. Yes. Speak, traveler. Um, yeah, so I want to pop in, check exactly what our requirements are, because then we can just make sure we're kind of passively moving in that direction. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Thank you. Please talk. Duties. Oh. Oh, there's still like a mission we can do. Tell Vanny spy. Go to the guild halls in Aldrin, Vivek and Sadith Mora. I'm sure there's a spy. When you find the spy, do not take any action. Report back to me. Oh, so we have um we still have another mission that we can be doing. We just probably can't go to the next rank. So it seems like the Thieves Guild like a couple of one of the um Aldrun and the major skill both share Aldrun as a location for our next mission. Um but I wanna have a look at what our main quest is. Um So that's just cool. I didn't realise that was going to be lead into a second quest. I'm not particularly interested as my character's not interested in his death, he just wants to rob him which we've done successfully, so we can move on from there quickly. Um, patchwork airship, what was this? Oh, that was a gentleman outside Aldrune. Death of a taxman. I won't mind clearing that from here. Catch a spy, that's what we've just been given. Sleepers. That just seems like something that's going to be chugging away in the background. Vivek Informants, that's main quest, isn't he? Make a G to the Thieves Guild operative in St. Alms. Speak with Haluya, an Argonian in the Foreign Quarter at the Black Shulk Corner Club. And speak with Mera Milo, a temple priestess at the Hall of Wisdom in the Temple Compound. When I have information about the Nervarine Cult and the Sixth House Cult, from these three, I report back to Chaos. Chaos gave me instructions in writing. I hope I haven't sold those. Um, <laughs> so, I think... Majors ago want me to do something in Vivek. Was that right? Membership's in Vivek. So, we can be doing that. And what was the Thieves Guild one? Oh, he just put me on to... Aldrune and a completely different place. So I think to Vivek. We've been there briefly once before. I'm tempted to walk it. Yeah, it's quite a while away. And we've spent enough time in this area. We've walked around this area a lot. No, let's uh, Silt Strider. Let's Silt Strider and go and have us uh, some questing over in Vivek. Balmora, I'm sure we'll be back relatively soon anyway, but you've been good to us. But we have spent a large amount of time here, so it's time to go and move on to new places. Here. Thank you. I believe it's across this bridge, because we were attacked by a Dark Brotherhood assassin around here. I am just going to go and do this, because I said I need to be getting my magic up as we progress. Is this fireball or fire? Yeah, I could have done it from over here then.
yeah, our destruction is like actually relatively low in the grand scheme of things. So need to make sure to keep plodding away at that as a skill. And we can, uh, yeah, we can actually make some advancements. What are our magic skills actually? Destruction 29, Alteration 5, barely used it, Illusion 30, barely used that. Restoration, we've actually gained like 10 levels in Restoration since that's been there. Our Short Blade's like phenomenal, so we'll keep plodding away at it, but I don't think we need to be doing loads with that. Yeah, and Magic's our main thing that we need to be uh, increasing, and it seems like it might take a while. So I think like Magic is actually going to be the one that we might, if we do invest any uh, levels into skill... Um, into skill merchant people, trainers, that's the word. Uh, that'll be the one we do. It's not across this bridge at all. Well, it was across this bridge, but I thought I was on the other side of it. So there we go. Yeah, so I might actually, in the meantime, have a look at some trainers, especially because we're going to be in Vivek, which is like a large area. There's a good chance of there being some trainers there, so we can get like a jump start on some of our um, magic skills. I know like there is an argument there's a way to like min max your use of trainers, but I don't know what it is. I might read a guide. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Here we are anyway. I think that's going to do me for today. We're not at the quite at the uh, 30 minute mark, but 26 minutes or so. You can enjoy that. But here we go. I know we've been here before, but it's it's good to be back. And actually, I feel like we're going to spend a bit more time here this time. I say I feel like it, I could be completely wrong, but there we go, that's the nature of the game. My name's been Billy, thank you for watching. If you could like, comment and subscribe, it would be really, really appreciated. Especially um, the subscribe one, we're still gunning for our first one, so you know, it'll be a good day when we get it. Righty-ho, thank you, and goodbye.